Okay, now it's, it's a very good theory to believe Jesus is sinless. As Muslim, we believe Jesus is sinless. So are all the other prophets. But let's come to the Bible. What does the Bible say? Now, the Bible has passages where it says, Jesus had a woman who came to him and seeked help. And Jesus said to her, it is not for me to give the bread to the dogs. Imagine if I call someone a dog in this society today, is that not considered a sin? It is. According to the language of the Bible, Jesus committed sin. He converted water to wine. If I give wine to under 18s in America today, I can assure you I will be in trouble, right? So Jesus is giving that. According to the law, it would be a crime. Jesus says in Gospel of Luke chapter 19, verse 27, he says, anyone who does not accept my reign to rule over them, bring them and slay them in front of me. This is according to this the Bible. according to the Bible. Red letters. Red letters in the Bible is direct words of Jesus, peace be upon him. And he says in Luke 19, 27, whoever does not believe in me, bring him here, slay them. This is sin. So according to the Bible, Jesus is sinful. According to Islam, Jesus is sinless. So yes, we believe he's sinless. Now someone who says, no, no, but Muhammad is sinful. In that perspective, even Jesus is sinful according to the Bible. Now what we say is whatever the prophets did, it is according to the command of God. So that is no sin. Now they have to pick up a particular matter where they say this is sin. So they say Muhammad killed people. No, Moses also killed people, but that was the command of God. To fight against those who fight you. So if, if, if a thief comes to your house and smashes your wife and your children and you hit him back, you're, oh, they say, oh, no, no, you are a criminal, you hit someone. Yeah, but I hit in a context, mm -hmm. in a reason. I'm not going out killing people or attacking someone's house, but if someone attacked my house, I have to defend. So yeah. if someone attacked Muhammad's house, if someone attacked his country and killing innocent people, as a leader, you got to defend, you got to fight back. That's what he did. If Jesus was the king of his time, I can assure you, he would have fought back and he would have killed a few who were killing innocents. Yeah, 3,000, as you mentioned Moses, 3,000 in yeah. one day according to he the Bible. To. Now, according to the Bible, the Christians believe Jesus is God. So Moses killed people under whose command? Under God's command. Who is God according to some Christians? Jesus. So who commanded Moses to kill? Jesus.